Hey, welcome everyone in this new tutorial about Diablo Dungeon Generator. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, connectors and how tiles are actually connected in the game space with each, with each other in the game space. So we are just going to, I'm just going to increase my arm space again, just so I can talk to you about what I mean by connectors. I want 500, 5,000. And what I mean by connectors, I mean how is the, this starting tile connected to this corner tile physically? Right now, I can I can go through all um, I can move from a tile to another freely. And how are we going to connect them with each other? Well, in Diablo, in Diablo, they chose to they chose a simple rule. All connections are made in the lower corner of the cardinal point it is in. So basically, that means it's going to be here, then it's going to be there, then it's going to be here, then here, then here. So we're going to build a simple, a simple logic in our BP tile that makes it so it's, it automatically spawn walls if if we have a, um, it automatically spawns walls if we don't have a connection and it automatically spawns a connector if we have a location uh, um, a connection so let's do this let's open up our bb tile bp tile blueprint let's let's also check out our start tile blueprint because we want to get rid of the walls here we want to get rid of everything in here because it's going to uh, mess up with uh, the system we're going to build right now. So now we want a wall. So this is going to be a wall. We want it to be uh, high in the hair. Uh, we are going to see why in a minute. So we actually want walls to be to fit in our tile so they don't collide with each other. So I'm not sure what wall that is. So I'm going to check out. So this is the western wall. I can know if I find the northern location. The X indicates where it goes. So this is the north. The, the red arrow indicates the north. So this is the western wall. We want to duplicate that. We want to make it an, inst an eastern wall, and we also want a southern wall and a northern. I mean, I'm going to make the, the south wall for now. And then I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to make that the northern wall. And then I'm going to put the eastern wall in here. Then I want. I also want to have a western connector. So this is just an automatic, an automatical system, an automatic system that, that will show us how tiles are connected with each other. In in the end, if you want to really develop it like it's for a real game, you don't want to have an automatic system. You want to build each connector in each tile, but you, this system will basically show us how we need to build uh, the connectors. Uh, rather than guessing each time we open up a new tile. So it's going to be quite obvious once, once we are done with this. So we said our rule was that the lower corner is going to be our connection. So if we have a Western connection, how is this wall supposed to behave? Well, it's supposed to be smaller like this. I mean, even smaller like this. And yep, that's fine. I'm going to make it so each connection is 15. So I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to make that the eastern connector. I'm going to duplicate it once again. I'm going to make it the southern connector. Uh, why Why am I? I'm going to call that. Yep. 
So the southern connector is like this, like that. It's open on the bottom left of it. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to make that the northern connector. And if, if I'm putting it right here, so this is open, this is open, this is supposed to be open. So this is on the other side, like this. And we don't forget the eastern connector. That needs to be like that. So it's fine. And then in our constrict construction scripts, we're checking the connection. If it's connected, we're displaying the arrow. If it's not, so if it's connected, we are going to also, if it's connected, we are going to destroy the wall. We're going to destroy the wall. So in our construction script for each, for each cardinal point, we're checking if the cardinal point is open. If the cardinal point is open, we're showing showing the arrow and we're also destroying the wall. Uh, maybe, maybe, okay. Oh, no, we're not going to do that in construction script, actually. We don't want to destroy components in construction script. We're just going to make them, yep, we're, we're going to do that we're going to make that a function uh, generates connectors and we're going to delete that we're going to compile and we're going to call that in our event begin play the problem with that is that it makes us unable to see what's going on in the editor so we might generate the arrow in editor and delete the components while in play. So if I'm hitting play, what do we get? Uh, we get something not quite what we want. Why is it so? Why is it so? So what have I done? So we are looping through the connections. If they are valid, if they are open, we are showing the, the arrow. And then we are destroying the corresponding. Oh, of course, I didn't pass the parameter. I'm always destroying the northern wall. Yep, they are mismatching, mismatched. I failed at building my connectors right here. So basically, the northern connector, the northern connector should be open on the other side. And then I guess the eastern connector should be open on the other side. And then I guess the southern as well and the western as well ah oh, no i think that there is something wrong in here i think it's not going to work yep uh, why is it not working maybe because the opening depends on the on the maybe the it's not always the same i mean what do i mean i mean like maybe depending on the orient on the, the the opened cardinal points, we don't have to open up the. Actually, the south is never good. So if I just switch the south like this, what what happens? It's open, and if I switch the western. Yeah, it's looking great actually. Yeah, I found the trick, guys.
I found the trick. So we have a dungeon with tiles and they are connected with each other. And it's looking great. So this is going to wrap up that video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.